Hey, uh, so welcome to another installment of Pool of Shit. I decided that the idea behind this segment would be to express skepticism of self, to, for me to either talk about a belief that I had, that I am now convinced was incorrect, talk about an instance when I did something that was incorrect, maybe immoral or false, and, or three, talk about an opinion that I currently hold, but have reason to doubt and explain that reason. Full of shit. This is the segment where I share shitty thoughts. Shitty thoughts with shitty production value in a sh uh, And then for some other reason, full of shit is a good title. Full of shit. I kind of had to force this because I don't, didn't really have it in me to do this video and so, uh, so I'm gonna have to work a little bit extra hard to make this a, a good full of shit video. So what I want to tell you about is a story from the beginning of the year when somebody I was seeing, I mean, we weren't together or anything, but she saw someone else one time, right after she had seen me. <clears throat> so I was like, oh shit, well, like, no, that's weird, like, no, no thanks. I was mad at the guy, because the guy was actually a close friend of mine. And she said, well, why are you mad at him? Why aren't you mad at me? I said, well, because, because you are sexually empowered, and that's fine, and all the more power to you. We had no contract, you did not betray me, um, but I do did feel like he betrayed me because we kind of had a conversation about it beforehand because I knew he was interested and I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. So that I realized in and of itself was sexist of me to say that she was sexually empowered. That's a useful phrase. It is an improvement from thinking that women shouldn't have any kind of sexual autonomy. It is better to say that they're sexually empowered, but there's still the underlying patriarchy. Enabled is different from able. Empowered is different from powerful. Emboldened is different from bold. Emboldened, empowered, they are a certain kind of adjective, don't know what it's called, but a certain kind of adjective where you're the receptor of an action. If you are empowered, someone has given you power. If you are emboldened, maybe an event or an action that precipitated the actual event gave you courage. And if you are enabled, it is a certain fact or someone's encouragement that made you bold. Encouraged. The courage didn't necessarily come from inside, it was given to you. You were encouraged. And so women being the object or the property of men, and they are given this power, so therefore they are empowered. And you could think of it as like, she's sexually empowered, meaning that she empowered herself. Okay, that's fine. But the thing is, I still think one of the underlying significance of of the statements she is sexually empowered is that she was given power by a man. And the reason I think that is because when I said to her, wait, that was actually sexist to me. You know what? You are sexually powerful. That made me uncomfortable. To see a woman as sexually powerful in and of her own right, I much preferred empowered. It felt better. Sexually powerful, I imagine she just, it's just too much power. You know, she's coming out like from the ground, but sexually empowered, she's still like my inferior, whom I have afforded a certain right or ability, what have you. And rather than saying that people, that a women are sexually empowered, um, or that a specific woman is sexually empowered, to say that she is, she has a sexual power or that she is autonomous or something like that. Because I think that the things that we say about our younger sisters or girlfriends or whatever that might make us uncomfortable. And not the nasty things, the things that we might actually say. If they make us uncomfortable, you may be on the right track because it's those things that may be acknowledgements of her own might. The power that we are naturally inclined to ignore or strip her of. Because that is the way, not only that we are socialized, but I think that we're probably wired to see women as our, our things, basically, and not not certainly not our equals. So give that some thought and then also tell me if I'm wrong, of course. Comment. There you go. Installment two of when this is when I was sexist. Very good. Thanks. Come on. I had like four coffees and bread. <laughs> oh. Okay, that'll do. Thanks. Oof. By the way. I've gotten a lot of really, gotten a lot of rave reviews for this segment. Check them out.
subscribe.